thank you, Angelo, for the introduction. And um, actually, I first show very quickly another application of the same methodology that uh, Runai has uh, um, uh, introduced. Uh, that is uh, um, a prediction uh, whether a certain class of material is uh, or not topological insulator. And this was a joint project uh, uh, with uh, Carlos Costa that visited the institute um, uh, from, from Brazil in the group of Adalberto Fazio. Uh, was at Fritz Haber for one year. And then, uh, uh, of course, uh, Runai was also involved. Uh, the, 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 the work was mainly led by, by uh, Christian Carbonio that you will, uh, I don't know if he's here, but in any case, you will meet on uh, Thursday, I guess. Uh, for, he has you know, his own tutorial <coughs> on the error bars. Um, so these materials are uh, um, honeycomb materials. From top view is this one. Lateral view, you see they are uh, a bit buckled. And uh, they have uh, uh, this uh, A and B, so the, the, the blue and, uh, and red. Uh, fished out from uh, either 4, 4, 3, 5, 2, 6 in the periodic table, and they are functionalized off plane by these uh, C atoms that are uh, in the, from the seventh group. Now, some of these are a topological, uh, so some of these meaning if you should make any combination of this uh, uh, A, B, and C uh, that are some hundreds. Uh, some of these are uh, uh, even known to be topological insulator from an experimental point of view. Uh, some are not just not known, or maybe some cannot really be synthesized. And the idea was to try to understand which ones were topological insulator using a, a kind of simplified descriptor, so that one doesn't have to do the calculation uh, or even guided the experiment to say, this one must be a topological insulator. So the machinery that Runai has explained was, uh, was applied. And this is already the result. So there is uh, this uh, uh, classification. Uh, you see the, the descriptors are uh, uh, quite simple. Uh, in particular, here you have even the uh, atomic number. So in this case, the atomic number turned out to be important. You may know that being topological insulator is uh, thought to mainly de depend on spin orbit coupling, and, uh, and, and the atomic number uh, kind of uh, is a descriptor of, <laughs> of the strength of the uh, spin orbit coupling, at least a, a very simple, uh, uh, from a very simple point of view. Uh, the striking thing of this uh, descriptor uh, is that one axis uh, here that uh, uh, already makes a, a clear distinction between something that is for sure topological insulator or something that may be topological insulator doesn't depend on the functionalization. While it's the second axis that uh, looks into the functionalization. This is totally an outcome of the application of the methodologies. It was not put in. Now, if one looks carefully on what is this uh, um, homo level here, electron affinity of, uh, of the atom B, and then looks in what means here, uh, what is selected for the atom C, uh, one can give physical grounds to, to, to this descriptor, why these uh, uh, numbers, these quantities are really, uh, and it is related to uh, the position of the, the p orbitals that makes the, the sigma and the pi uh, molecular orbital in the material. Now, I will not go into detail because it would take at least 20 minutes to, to really make out the story in a, in, a, in a clear way. But believe me, and we will submit the paper soon, there is a way to work out why this descriptor is there, or to justify, let's say. Of course, this is an outcome of the application of the methodology. What I find uh, very, very interesting, and this is why novel appears now in the title, is that uh, one can make these materials also having A and B from 5, 5, and 4, 6 combination, again hundreds of these, and the functionalization is in the sixth group, the C atoms. And uh, the descriptor doesn't know this. I mean, you can plug in uh, the numbers, and, 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 and this would be these now red dots, uh, red uh, circles with, uh, with the yellow inside. And these are totally not in the training set, and it makes a prediction on, on these guys uh, here. And then we checked uh, sampling uh, with the, the DFT calculation, and indeed it confirms uh, exactly what, uh, what, we, uh, uh, what the descriptor predicts. So that's good. Uh, 
these things of course uh, await some some experimental verification but uh, yeah that, that, that's a, a clean prediction that comes out of the application of, of this methodology now I go to the to the toolkit so completely switching gears um, so in uh, after the coffee break you will uh, uh, see the first uh, uh, bit of uh, of the analytics toolkit and uh, Actually, let me go directly. Oh, it was no, too many slides before, uh, after. Okay, sorry. Uh, do not improvise. Uh, so, let me first say in general what is the, the toolkit. Um, so, it's a software framework. Uh, that means uh, it's a collection of, uh, of libraries for querying and analyzing the data that are contained in normal archive. Yesterday you got with some difficulty a little bit of access to the archive. And, and these are the tools uh, to uh, analyze them, to analyze the data that you find. Uh, the architecture of this is modular in the sense that in principle people can reuse uh, uh, single tools or modules in order to build their own tools. And there are different user interfaces. And today you will see basically two that are not exactly different, but, but uh, visually at least they, they, they will look different. And in general, we have that the uh, access is uh, browser based, uh, browser based uh, via notebook interface that is running on enormous servers that has the direct implication that uh, you don't have for sure here, but even at home, you don't have to install anything. You just log in, go to the uh, right URL, and you can uh, uh, do even your own uh, analysis. Uh, and the idea is that uh, we, we provide some simple uh, entry to novices and, uh, and, uh, and something more serious for people that want to do some more uh, uh, deep stuff. Uh, OK, it's there. Actually. Uh, the, the, the best way to go is to from just uh, to, to the general portal of Nomad COE and you go to the green uh, button and, uh, and you enter the, the, the thing. Um, so why this uh, 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 browser-based notebook is, uh, is, uh, is interesting? Because you have an interactive web page in which you have pieces of code uh, that can be run. Uh, and then this is, and, and then you can also have pieces of text and figures and whatever. So this is makes uh, uh, for, for, for a tutorial the, the ideal environment. Uh, uh, so forget about any PDF and then go here, type this. It's everything is there. Um, and okay, so uh, this is the, the 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 places where you will go to do these tutorials. We will offer two kind of uh, tutorials. Uh, one, if you are really interested to understand the methodology that uh, Runai basically has introduced, actually starting from the very simple uh, application of Lasso, dating back to actually some uh, script that, uh, that uh, Jan wrote to me a few years ago, and we extended it in a full-fledged uh, tutorial because uh, he needed to tell me how it was working, and then I realized that this was a good way to make it for everybody, and Emre Antich was the person that really made it into a, a notebook. He will be a tutor next. And then we have a more um, a graphical interface kind of thing in which you, I will show in a in few seconds how it works, so that you get directly into the matter without having all the tedious uh, kind of lecture. So if you go to the uh, Nomad Analytics page, it looks like this, and then I made it a little bit more uh, slide friendly, the, the next part is not exactly like this, we will go into this predicting energy difference between crystal structures uh, uh, thing. Um, as I said, so there is a long list of uh, tutorials here, and uh, uh, most of them will be uh, object of, of uh, next uh, tutorials, like Angelo and, and Mario Bulai in, uh, on Thursday will present something on uh, subgroup discovery. Uh, Angelo will also present something on uh, neural network that is not yet in this list, but will be soon. Um, um, cluster expansion by Santiago and, and others, uh, uh, error bars, Christian Carbonio and others, uh, and then uh, these two will be presented uh, by uh, Gabor Sani and uh, um, other people uh, from, uh, from London um, on, uh, on Friday. So, uh, that, okay, you have to log in. 
there is uh, actually uh, a general uh, uh, hub for, for all the materials of this uh, repository, uh, Georg, who uh, sent me the, this link. So if you are familiar with GitHub, you just have to remember Nomad Hanson, and you will find it easily. Uh, I will have the same uh, URL uh, in my last slide, so you don't have to, uh, uh, it will stay a few seconds at the end. The login is very important. You have done it already yesterday. Uh, in, uh, in the analytics uh, um, toolkit page, there is always this button login when you want to log in, but when you want to go to any uh, of this tutorial and you are not logged in, you are prompt to log in, so you don't have to mind. What I want to say is that, uh, um, yeah, so you get this thing that you, most of you have seen already yesterday, you, you log in, and uh, um, please do not uh, use guest login, in particular uh, one of the tutorials will have a hard time if, if, if everybody goes into the guest login because they will be, basically everybody will be doing the same session. Not everybody, but okay, there is a limited number of sessions under guest, so uh, it's, please do not do guest. In general, guest is really there for people that do not want to say what they are, who they are, and, and, and whatever. So in general, yes, not today, because too many people at the same time would be a problem. Um, the other thing I want to point out is that there is a dashboard that you can access from the main page once you have logged in. And the dashboard is uh, very nice. It, it gives you the general uh, state of your uh, account, meaning uh, which resources you are using, uh, uh, your own storage, shared storage, and then there is a list of uh, notebooks, the one that you have created, so, and, uh, and, and uh, those that are shared uh, among uh, uh, all the Nomad uh, community. Um, so there will be a long list uh, here. Uh, if you go there after you have logged in, you, you will find easily. Now, the first of these uh, uh, tutorials uh, is, uh, is this uh, graphical user interface base. It's also the, the very first that we uh, made in, uh, as, a, as a proof of concept. And it's basically um, using CISO uh, in order to predict uh, the relative stability between uh, uh, Rock salt and zinc blend, but you can choose also other combination. But it's a, it predicts uh, the stability between two uh, different crystal structure for octet binaries, and it starts from uh, the usual uh, uh, atomic features that are listed here. In any case, the interface, lo 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 interface looks like this. Uh, you will be able to choose which input features uh, to use, of course, uh, among those that we offer, um, and which operation you allow. Basically, this is the only ingredient that you give to the, to the method. There is a, another few parameters uh, but that are also in the page, but this is basically the core of the thing. Now, here is a bit uh, uh, blocked, so you, are, you can choose only this, but in the real life, you could use this uh, uh, thing with a little bit of adaptation and plug in whatever you think is important uh, in both kind of sets. And you will, um, and there is a, some tool tip that tells you what something is if it is not immediately clear by EAIP and so on. Um, you run this and you find uh, the solution that is basically the descriptors and you have also a viewer that will show you the result in a graphical way. So this is basically uh, the paper uh, quality thing. This is what, what we published. What you get is very, very similar in the sense that you get exactly the same thing. Uh, the points are in the same, the, the color scale is different, but the same axis and the same representation. Uh, the, the catch is that this is uh, uh, interactive, so you go over on the point, you get information on each point, you click on the point, you get the structure, and, uh, and you can compare the structures, uh, distances, whatever. So it's fully interactive uh, viewer main, made uh, mainly by, by Angelo. <laughs> and, uh, and if you're not satisfied that everything is uh, uh, thick and, and click and so on, uh, this is a notebook. You go to notebook lock, you unlock, this is totally doable by, by everybody that is logged in, and you will see the code that is behind, at least uh, uh, the front end. Uh, and, and you can edit it, not just clicking. Now, another thing I want to point out that you see in the analytics toolkit uh, page 
is the uh, forum. You can go there and, uh, and uh, give your comment, uh, something to improve, something that you don't understand, and so on. You will see there are already three uh, active forums uh, on uh, bug report and comments and, uh, and any kind of uh, question that you, that you have. Um, this one uh, I will do very fast. So this is really meant to be a lecture uh, on, uh, on the uh, compressed sensing, starting from Lasson and arriving to CISO, uh, step by step. So you will have uh, uh, sections like this, all collapsed at, at, at the beginning, and, uh, and, you, um, and you can do one by one. Uh, this one is really a notebook in the sense that you will see the cells with the, the code, and you can run uh, one by one and see what, uh, what's happening. Uh, I will skip these tips uh, because uh, oh, basically I think I can stop here because basically that this is really meant to be fully tutorial. So you go step by step and you follow, follow the instruction. In any case, the tutors will be at hand. As I said, there are two uh, fully flash tutorials. You can choose which, which one you want. Uh, time is a bit limited, so I guess you don't make it to, to, to look at both today, especially if you start from the second, from the, this uh, notebook here. Uh, but in any case, they, they will be always be there. So the moment you are logged in, you can do it uh, whenever, tonight or uh, the next days. Uh, so I will skip uh, all this. Uh, you will find step by step. I just uh, stop on the final thing. Uh, so uh, developing the, the full infrastructure and developing each specific uh, uh, tutorial uh, requires uh, quite some work. And this is, uh, I hope, the full uh, team that people have contributed. So the top line is people that worked uh, on the general infrastructure or doing the proof of concept uh, kind of uh, uh, tutorials. Um, and these are people that contributed in one way or the other. Uh, doing some uh, some tutorial and like 80% of these you 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 are in the room or you will meet in these uh, in these days. Some have left the the team already, uh, and here you have the the so the link that I said, in which you find uh, the links to the two tutorials that uh, you will be doing. In any case, we will repeat them in the in the room uh, after the coffee talk uh, funding. And thank you for your attention.